friends, Gator Rum here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today we're talking all about this Dagny Dover Layla cage tote. All right, so before we get right on into this video, I wanted to let you guys know that today's video is a team up with one of my dear friends, Nicole, who is Hello Happy Mom here on YouTube. I'll put her picture here and all of the information down below for her channel. She is actually going to be packing up this same Layla cage tote, but in the small size. It's quite different um, compared to this medium from what I understand. The overall look of it is exactly the same, obviously, but size wise it's much smaller and I think some of the interior pockets and features may be a little bit different so if you are between the two sizes or just curious to kind of see how they compare definitely head over to her channel because she's going to be packing hers up today as well so this cage tote here was one of my absolute favorites from the Dagny Dover release this past spring I absolutely love this bag it's so different it really is unlike any other bag that I have. The straps are really easy to kind of grab here at the top. It doesn't have any type of a messenger strap or anything like that, and there is no big zipper in the top of this bag. So that may be a deal breaker for some of you, but um, those of you that have watched a few of my videos probably like realize that I like big open bucket type bags. I never zip the top of my totes. I don't know. It's just like personal preference. I like to be able to grab out whatever I need, like no fuss. So this bag is definitely a favorite of mine. As far as the exterior of the bag goes, it looks exactly the same the entire way around. There's no pockets. There's no zippers. There's not even any type of logo that I can see besides up here at the um, very top of the strap. It's very hidden. It's kind of etched into the bag. Let me see if I can give you a good look of it here. Um, it's just subtle and it's kind of sophisticated looking in my opinion. I love the way that they designed this. Um, I just think it's gonna be really fun like heading into summer. All right, so let's go ahead and set the camera down so that I can show you an up close of this bag and everything that I have packed inside. There is one accessory that comes with this bag that I actually took out and I don't have inside. It's kind of similar to the way that they have the Allen tote structure. Those of you that might be familiar with that, there is this little um, pocket, if you will, for your water bottles or drinks, just something in case they like sweat or leak and kind of keeps it separate from the inside of the bag. There is a snap right here that snaps over here in the side of the bag. I don't really carry my water bottles a lot of times inside my bag and the way I have this set up, I didn't really have room for it. So I did wanna make sure I mentioned that this was an accessory that came with it. While I have this out, if the camera will focus for me, I want to show you an up close of this um, look of the material and the fabric. It's like a textured speckled look. I really love it. Um, it's so pretty and like I said, it's just, different and I think it's going to be awesome for the summer. Now getting on into the cage tote. The straps kind of naturally go together up here at the top. Um, I have found that if you just kind of turn them out the other way, like kind of flip them, you can easily have the straps lay open for you so that you can get everything that you need out of here. So if you have this like sitting in a chair next to you or down on the floor or however, and you don't wanna be messing with the straps like kind of hitting each other, um, they definitely will stay wide open like this for you. So um, that's just something that I found was working really well for me. The um, cage part of this tote does kind of attach or sew in here on the sides. There's one little ring here, which I'll show you what I have attached to here in a second, but there is not a ring over here on this side. It's just sewn into the bag. Um, so let's go ahead and start with what I have on the very center of the bag, because it's not much, and then I'll show you all of the different pockets. So over here on this little ring here, I have attached the little key leash that comes with the bag, and I just decided to put my Touchland hand sanitizer on here because it's gonna be something that I grab for all the time, and it's really easy to get this way, and I can just kind of throw it on the top of my bag, um, and I always use it. So that's what I have attached here. You can obviously attach your keys to this or a small pouch or whatever you would like. You can double it up over here to kind of keep it out of the way. So that is something that kind of comes inside the bag. 
Also attached to this little loop right here, I have a small coin purse from Lily Jade. This actually comes with a little clasp on it, so it's great to attach it to the outside of any bags or any type of little rings. This is a um, leather pouch. It is in their old English leather, which is so nice. It's kind of weathered looking. The camera, there it goes, if it will focus here for you. It shows all the nice little like imperfections. I love the etching of their logo here at the top. So it's just a really soft and squishy like leather type pouch. Has a little tassel here and then inside I just like to keep my earbuds. So they're tucked down in there. I actually have the charger there and then um, they're just safe and secure and I'm able to kind of grab them out whenever I need them. The only other things that are loosely thrown in the center of this bag, which you can't even really tell that they're loose down in there because I'm really utilizing all of the pockets that's inside this bag, um, but I do have a full kind of pack of gum um, right here in the middle of the bag. And then I also have my keys just tucked down in here in the bottom. They're really easy for me to grab if I need them because I do have them attached to this big O silicone key ring that you guys are used to seeing. Um, this is by Oventure, um, and so I just have them kind of thrown down there so that I can grab them whenever I need them. I guess we'll go ahead and start with this side of the bag since it's how I have it um, set at the moment. You have two interior pockets right here, and then you have one nice zipper pocket here. So inside the zipper pocket, I just have a big hair scrunchie for myself, and then I also have a couple of face masks. I find this is a great pocket, kind of keeps them out of the way, and I have them should I need them. And then I also have tucked down in there a little water like sweetener pack and then one of these emergency packs. I sometimes throw these in a water bottle or whatnot whenever I'm out. So I have that down in there. I could easily throw in like a granola bar or two or a snack or something. Um, I just like this pocket because it's secure. Um, should you want to put like your wallet or something like that that you're um, a little bit more uneasy with just laying in an open type tote, um, you do have that security with the zipper right there. So over here in this pocket, the only thing that I have is my MZ Wallace small Crosby wallet. I love this. I love how slim it is. It will fit perfectly down in there. The um, Dagny Dover accordion wallet also fits great in there. It's a nice big pocket, so you could really fit any type of wallet down there. Um, I did just release a review on this one because a lot of you had been asking about it. Um, it's over on my channel if you want to see um, the setup of this wallet. Over here in this pocket, I just have a bunch of wipes. I have a package of wet ones, and I also have a small pack of tissues in there. I could definitely throw more in this pocket. Um, obviously, I just decided to throw them in there, but the pockets are very nicely sized. You can fit a lot inside of them. Moving the bag around here so that you can have a little bit better of a view on the other side of this bag. I love all of the interior um, features of this bag, all of the different pockets and the loops. I hope you can really see it um, as far as how it's all set up. You have one little pocket over here that I think is a little bit difficult to see. It's a small pocket, but it is tucked on the side of the bag. I find it to be the perfect pocket for like a small thing of hand cream, or even if you have pens or sunglasses or something like that, it's just tucked almost hidden over there in the corner. This is a hand cream that I've really been liking. Um, it is still by Perfectly Posh. You guys know I love their hand creams, but it's a little bit different, a little bit smoother than their typical big fat hum yummy hand creams that I have a lot of times, but it's a honey vanilla scent and it's so fresh and so good. I, I can't say enough about it. So I wanted to make sure I told you guys about that one. Um, right next to that pocket over there, you do have attached to this um, sleeve, this like padded laptop type sleeve here. You have a little tiny leather pocket down there and I think it's perfect to just kind of throw my cell phone in there. I was using that pocket to hold my earbuds because this was another great little spot for those. So you can really put whatever you want in there. There is a small, um, let me see if I can actually put the bag up just a little bit so that you can see down in there. There's a small little pocket on the front of that pocket. It's very, very thin. Um, you could maybe put like a pack of tissues or a hair tie or something small. Um, I find when I have something in this pocket, it's really hard to use that little flap there, but it's down there should you want to. Um, over here on the other side, which I'll pull it out here for just a second, there are a couple of loops. 
um, for whatever you need them for, pens. I have obviously lip products in here. And then right over here on the side, I'll actually move it up here so you guys can see it one more time. You do have that little clasp for the um, water bottle sleeve that I was showing you earlier. So down in these little loops here in this far one, which is the tallest of the three, I just have two of these Tarte lip glosses that I really like. Two of them fit really well in there, so it'll give you a good idea as to how wide um, that little like leather pocket is there. Right next to it, I have a small little Advil. It has like Advil and Excedrin, just pills like that for myself in there. And then over here in this last one, I just have a vanilla chapstick. Moving on in to this padded laptop sleeve. It is nice and padded. It's secured by this um, leather type magnetic closure. As you can see, it just kind of attaches there really easily. There's no fuss or anything like that. Um, tucked over here on the side of it, I just have my Erin Condren pencil pouch with my little family photo fob. This is an elastic pouch. You can put it across any of your planners or um, notebooks or anything like that. I just have a couple of pens in here for myself, for my planner, and then my kids if they want any of them while we're out, like to draw, and then I have a highlighter in there as well. Then the only other two things that I have down in there is a small Lily Jade packing case. You guys know I love these, and I think this like natural type color actually looks really good with this um, type of the, like the material and everything that this bag is made out of. This is the small of a set of three. So the packing cases come in a set of three and they also come with a little wristlet. Um, in here, I just have a few little activities for my kids. I could easily throw in like a snack or two in here if I wanted to, but it's kind of like the one thing in my bag for them, um, just in case we're like out to eat and they need some entertainment. I have a couple of little cars for my youngest, some of these yummy twistable crayons, and then I have coloring books and just plain white paper for them to kind of doodle with. Last but not least, tucked in here, I have my productivity planner. This is something new for me. I don't think this is gonna be like a long-term thing that I use. It's something that I'm kind of playing with for the next month or so until my next um, planner starts. But I've actually really been enjoying it. I like the worksheets in here. I like to plan my day with it. Um, and there's also note pages in the back and kind of a monthly calendar. So I definitely think it's pretty cool. Um, again, I don't know if it's gonna be like a forever type planner. It's just something I'm toying with now. But this is a regular like eight and a half by 11 notebook. Um, and as you can see, it fits down in here, no problem. I feel like you could easily use this tote for like work or for school if you don't need to carry like a lot of books and things. Um, they definitely fit in that sleeve and it's separate from the whole rest of the bag. I did pull down my 13 inch MacBook um, because I thought some of you might ask about that. I have not tried to put it in here yet, but look, it fits perfectly. I don't think you could fit any bigger than this because it is nice and secured down in there, but you could definitely still maybe even put the notebook in there with it. Like there's a good, a good bit of room. Let me see if I can actually do that. As far as like, yeah, you could definitely fit a notebook and a laptop. I love that. I, th I think that's awesome. I also grabbed my brand new agenda from Erin Condren. This is the next planner that I'm actually gonna be moving into, but it doesn't start until July. So I'm still in the process of filling in the different papers and planners and inserts and all of that that I wanna use. But I know a lot of you recently grabbed this because this is a new thing from Erin Condren. So I thought it would be fun to kind of show you how that fits down inside. Obviously, like there's no problem with that whatsoever. So those of you that have big planners, that are like leather bound like this, you can use this pocket for literally anything. All right, so there you have it. I thought I would give you one last up close look of what the bag looks like all empty. Cause I know that some of the times it's kind of hard to see when I'm pulling stuff out of it. I love this. I hope that they continue to make this style bag, even if they don't do it in a cage tote like type version, just a regular tote bag like this would be so awesome. Maybe like a short strap, like not a crossbody strap, but like maybe like a hobo type strap. That would be so cool too. So Dagny Dover, if you happen to be watching that or watching this video, those are just some of my unfiltered thoughts, but I love this. I think it's awesome. So if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I will have a link to um, everything that I talked about today below as well. I will talk to y'all on my next video. I hope you have a great rest of your day.